Hello and welcome back to Vault Hunters. In the last episode, we got our very first unspent knowledge point after getting the knowledge star and we now need to use this. Now I just want to say thank you to everyone who left suggestions and comments. Now I need to pick a mod that we unlock. If I were to take this, firstly, I can't take it because it requires four research points, but if you notice when I have this selected, it says plus one on all of these other categories. That means when I take this, it will increase the cost of these other ones in the other boxes by one. However, in the decoration category, if I take something like furniture, as you can see, it reduces the price for anything else in these categories. So the wise choice really is to take something from the decoration category so that when we want to get something like mechanism or create or refined storage, it will be a lot cheaper. So a lot of you suggested in the comments that I should take something from decoration and I'm going to do that. Question is, which one should I get? We have six options here. Furniture unlocks Mr. Crayfish's furniture mod and supplementaries. We also have Decorator, which unlocks masonry, decorative blocks, camera, uh, MCW mods, environmentals and platforms. More lights unlocks the Simply Light mod, Fairy Lights, Test Dummy and Chef. Now I'm not really interested in cooking and I have looked at Fairy Lights, doesn't look like something that I will be using a whole lot. Test Dummies neither. I have not looked at Simply light so let's take a look at these okay so this is the simply light mod it basically gives other variants of i guess quote unquote redstone lamps right here so i don't think i'm really interested in simple light so it is either decorator or furniture now if we took decorator we would unlock all of these kinds of things different kinds of doors bridges up here all of these like slopes and whatnot i think this is one that we would get the most value from whereas supplementaries and Miss Crayfish's furniture mod is just furniture. So I think that's the one I'm going to take. Decorator. Boom. Decorator has been taken. So if say I want to refine stories next, now it will only cost three. Which is really, really cool. So yeah, we just spent a knowledge point. Which means I can make stuff like this. That's looking actually not too bad. I'm definitely going to be using this stuff in our base down the road here. I'm actually pretty happy that I chose this. Now we have five unspent skill points currently. So the question is, what should I use them for? I basically have a lot of possibilities. Question is, what will be best? There's well fit, which increases our amount of hearts. Stone skin, which increases the knockback resistance. There's stuff like haste. Or there's something really expensive like step, which basically makes it so we walk like if a single block was stairs. And there's also Elwich, which permanently removes all possible fall damage. And of course we could upgrade dash, we could get hunter and other things like that. If I wanted to, I could get one point in haste, one point in well fit and one point in unbreakable. But I think I'm going to choose step because this is going to allow us to move a lot faster in the vaults. Now this is not like Minecraft's auto jump feature. I'm gonna take this. It's expensive, but we will get more levels down the road. So let me show you what this actually does. Normally I would have to jump up these stairs, right? Or these blocks. I'm not touching my spacebar. I am only pressing W. <laughs> this makes you able to run through the vault so much quicker. Like look at this, normally I would have to jump every time. Now I'm just running up these blocks. This thing has actually so much value. So I believe that we are now caught up. Well, kinda. Kinda. You see, in between episodes, I actually did a live stream over on my brand new live channel, where I have decided to move all my live streaming to. So if you want to catch my live streams, be sure to head on over there and subscribe. But in between episodes, we did some stuff here. Uh, we added some farms. In the last episode, I mentioned that I wanted to do some farming and well, we have definitely made some farms. We have an automated sugarcane farm over here, an automated bamboo farm, which might I add, is actually working. And then on the right here, we have a melon farm and a pumpkin farm. Let me sleep. Now what I'm in the process of doing is making the structures look a little bit cooler, like this. Originally I hadn't added glass, but now I have, and I am actually pretty happy with how these look. I'm so used to having to jump. Now I can just, boom, I'm up. <laughs> This is going to take some getting used to. But yeah, why don't we just go ahead and I'm gonna update these a little bit. 
I'm gonna add some structures to this so it looks a little bit better because these are not the only farms that I want. Today we will be making, hopefully, a bee farm, a general mob farm, which really shouldn't take that long. Oh yeah, I need to add lights there, that's why it's so slow. Duh. So I need to do that and yeah, I want to make those two other farms and then I want to craft a bunch more vault crystals. I also need to fix a cactus farm, but all of this is going to be happening very, very quickly. I'm not gonna time lapse it, we're just gonna stand right here and... And farms have been fully decorated. Nice. I want to make a general mob farm. And I am thinking of putting it somewhere over here. Now I will, it will be an AFKable one. I could put it there or I could put it over here. I'm not quite sure where I want to put this. There would really work together with the rest of the environment. And I could just put a bunch of torches up there and then it would be spawn proofed. Yeah, I think we will build it right here. Alright, I believe I have most of what I need. I just need a bunch more cobblestone in order to make some dispensers and also for building blocks. So it's time to head on over to the mine which I haven't been at in so long. Whee! Now this is great because hopefully I'll... Actually, now that I think about it, this is mostly deep slate that's around me. Uh, hmm. I have a better idea. Actually, I got a better idea than my better idea. I'm just gonna mine in this cave. This is the very first cave that we got down in. So, vein miner activated. And, oh. Sub touch. Yeah, that's gonna be an issue. Oh. Oh, I have so much deep slate and cobblestone down here. <laughs> I did not know I had this. Um, well, that definitely does make the job a whole lot easier, doesn't it? This is 1,146, but I still have 400 to go. But instead of going down in the mines, I think I'm just gonna get it from this cave. Of course, as I say that, I hit a water cave. And that is 430. 440! Nice! Yep, I definitely should have enough now. And to make the droppers, I just used lime cobblestone. And there's this fancy, very fancy recipe right here by Quark, where you can use the dropper and then you can have the bow crafty recipe around it. So you can just do that. That's really, really cool. But with that, that should be everything that I need in order to make this farm. So without any further ado, let's get to work. So my intention was to time lapse the building of this farm, but unfortunately, it's messed up and I'm not able to show the time lapse. I am sorry about that, but with that said, let's now see the farm done and dusted. <laughs> Just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we now have a general mob farm. Come on, fall down. So yeah, this thing has now been constructed. Now, of course, this is not looking it's prettiest at the moment. I will be sorting that out. It will be looking nice and neat just like these farms down here. Now I did follow a tutorial by Shockercraft, so if you're interested in building this same farm right here, I will leave a link to the videos that I followed down below in the description. But as you can see, it is now working. Now what do you have to offer? Uh, nothing really. Packed ice. You do realize what... Where do you go? Okay. He, he ignored me. Right. But yeah, like I said, definitely going to improve the look of this thing. But for now, this should be functioning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to AFK for like 30 minutes or so up here. Granted, I can get up. <laughs> and then we will be moving on to the next project. I'll see you in 30 minutes. Not gonna lie. This is kind of pretty. But I have now been AFK for 20 minutes. Yes, I didn't have the patience to wait another 10 minutes. Uh, anyway, <laughs> let's go down here. Oh, wow. There's a... Hold up. That's a lot of mobs. Okay, I think this thing is more efficient than I had than I expected it to be. Whoa. Okay. Uh Oh wow. Wow. Okay. Yep. This thing is definitely working. We got run flesh, string, gunpowder, bones, arrows, everything we could ever need from this thing right here. I love it. Now time to clean up my inventory. And done. Now there are two more farms that I want to make today. One, automated cactus. And two, bee farm. Because while I can get honey bottles, getting honeycomb is gonna be a pain. So I want to set up those two next. And a cactus farm really shouldn't be that tricky. At least I hope not. I really wish I could convert these slabs into full blocks. Oh wow. Also these. Definitely working very well. Right, I think I'm gonna make it right here. Why am I building this in the snow? That's it's this is not 
<sighs> this actually shouldn't take that long at all. Also, I hope I'm not making this too small either, but I would rather go simple and small than going way too big. Oh, the pumpkin farm and the melon farm are working. Oh, that's cool. I do believe that this is everything that we need for the specific farm. Now, my question is, is this going to be too slow or do I need to make another one on the right? I also forgot to waterlock the water. That's always a good idea. That way it won't freeze. I'm going to stick with this one for now. And if it's too slow, then I'm just going to have to make another one over here on the right. I guess it would add some symmetry, but for now, this should be good. Now all I got to do is expand the road. Otherwise, I'm going to go crazy. And I also need to put lights on the road because otherwise... The snow is gonna settle and I'm not happy about it. All right, this place is really looking good. I'll be sure to make this pretty later as well. But with these two farms made, I'm missing one. And I guess I'm kind of procrastinating from doing it. I need a bee farm. Yep, I need a bee farm. I'm not sure where to put it. You know what? Right along here should be good. I also need to clean this up. Definitely not procrastinating anymore. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Oh, I have a minor. See? Not procrastinating. Otherwise, I would have done it manually. <laughs> okay, I really wasn't procrastinating by cleaning this. I I wanted it gone. Oh, look how messy this chest is. I better clean it up before I do anything else. I'm just kidding. All right, hopefully these are the items that I need to make this beehive. Let's, uh... Let's make it happen. Yeah, I wanted to time lapse this one too, but the same thing happened. But no matter, let's now see the finished result. Okay, bee farm sorted. Again, I'll worry about making it look pretty later. But for now, we have the hard part of actually getting beehives. Because to make a beehive, you need, ow, well, honeycomb. And uh, I only know of one specific beehive that we can take from. So this is gonna potentially be quite interesting. Now before I go ahead and get my beehive, I did follow a tutorial by Shulkcraft and this farm I believe is from Il Mango. So again, if you want to use the same designs, I have left the videos down below in the description. This is really perfect timing. The sun is setting. I have enough honeycomb to make one beehive. Okay, so my plan here is get all the bees inside at nighttime, grab the nest, Place it in, and then I will make a... I'll show you. Come on, night time. It's so annoying, they keep flying away. I think all the bees are inside now, so I'm gonna grab this. Nice, this thing should have three bees inside. And after a quick nap, I am ready to proceed. Beehive. Now I'm going to make a few modifications to this, because I realized that this farm is made to produce honey bottles, but I don't need honey bottles. Actually, I will place the first layer back mainly because they do have a little bit of a function. Next, I believe I can break this, place the nest, place the glass back, and I should be able to break this and I think they won't go anywhere. Now, I just sincerely hope that they won't go in between this. I don't think they will, but to be sure, just because I don't have enough honeycomb to actually be making all the beehives, I'll be placing dirt for now. But then I should be able to break this, and the bees, now that they were pollinated when they got in, so they should leave. I can crouch down and place a flower right there, and then they should only be able to fly in that square right here. And then on top here, I will be able to breed them, getting more and more. Yes, yes, perfect. Read them up, get more, and this should work as long as I give these dispensers shears. And I made a little baby bee. And we'll go ahead and add some extra glass just for now for extra protection. <laughs> just because I'm paranoid. Right, that should be the bee farm done. Only way we will be able to tell is when that is full and has been sheared. And then Honeycomb should go into this chest right here. Quip all these dispensers with shears beforehand. And now I just, I guess, have to wait. I wonder if it will work if I'm AFK up there. I don't think it will. I guess in the meantime, while I'm waiting, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of trading with these villagers. I'll see you in a moment. I can now confirm that the farm is successfully working. That is really, really cool. So I'm gonna go ahead, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and make another hive put it in there and I'll just do have to, ow, 
I'll just have to do a bunch of, well, bee breeding in between episodes. So break this, remove that, place, and put Mega Jump, move, and flower. Nice. And bed. Oh. Or not. To celebrate, I shall feed five cakes to the vault altar. Boom. <laughs> so I'd say, pretty well done. We got that made, which is really, really efficient. We finally have a bee farm, which honestly wasn't that hard to make. And also a cactus farm. Oh. I saw something pop. Let's see how well it's done. Eight cactus. You know what? This thing is actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. I think we'll... I think this will be fine. One thing that I will need is white wool for what I want to do next. Nine. Perfect. Boom. Boom. And catching. Perfect. We now have two vault crystals in total. We can't have a vault hunt this episode without doing some vault running, can we? All right, I have decided for the rest of today's episode, I want to speed run these two vaults right here. So I better get prepared. All right, I do believe that I am ready to go for this. We're gonna speed run through these. Here we go, I have everything, right? I don't need my bucket actually. Now I should be good. Okay, here goes. All right, crowded. Very, very interesting. Okay, so I have not, I'm honestly, I haven't done one of these in so long. This is a little bit, ow, this is a little bit thri frightening. This is a little bit frightening. I'm scared that I won't do that well. But already we're off to a pretty good start, except that I almost fell to my death. Plenty of honey. I'm going to take this because then my farm can focus on creating honeycombs. Would you look at that? Village room. Soul flame? I can't say I know what that does or is, but I won't complain. All time, sacrificed. Ooh, gilded chest. Yes, please. Can't say that I'm not rusty, that's for sure. Oh, I didn't bring my box of... Okay, I knew I had forgotten something. Now for the big... Oh, we have another one of those doors where I need a key. Big question, does this contain an end gateway? If it does, I probably won't have what I need for it. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Don't think there's an end problem in this one. Just gonna move on. First obelisk obtained. We only need three in this one, so... If I do find the other two, I might consider fighting the boss. Okay, this room, I believe can have some really good stuff underground, but this is a crowded vault, so getting down might be a bit tricky. I feel like there's not anything down there. I could be wrong, but I think I'm going to just move on. I can't help it. I really can't help it. I have no idea what, what you're supposed to do down here, and now I'm trapped. Oh, wait a minute. Ooh. Oh, wow. Okay. That was worth it. I'm glad I jumped down here. Okay, there are so many gilded chests here. What is this? I, f I feel like this is too good to be true. Th this has to be too good to be true, right? There are so many of them. It is crowded, though. Uh-oh. Oh, an Omega chest. Nice. An epic chest. Okay, okay, guys, hold on. This baby zombie is killing me, literally. Okay, I think I went through the chests. Now I just need to go through the ores. <laughs> Four vault diamonds in this one. That's incredible. Make that five. I really hope I'm not missing any crucial ores, but I think I got the most important ones. I'm so happy I jumped down there. So with that, I have 11 minutes remaining and one more branch that I want to explore. Aha, uh -huh, the room that I'm most scared of. The desert room. Second obelisk. Aha. Uh -huh. Third obelisk. I have been given the option. With seven minutes left, I feel like I'm able to take the risk. Uh, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Except that I don't have any more healing potions. 
I didn't realize that I had used all of them. Uh, that's an issue. I do have a power bar. I do have golden apples that I can eat in an emergency. And hardy apples. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do it. This might be a bad idea because it's a crowded vault, but I don't care. Eat hardy apples. I have time enough to run away if need be. Eat a golden apple just to get some regeneration. Get rid of you guys. Definitely get rid of you. And you. Equip rampage. Eat this. Okay, man. You better die right now. Yikes. Oh, easy. Half health. Come on. All cleared. Did I get it? Oh, wait, I didn't get it. That is. Okay. Whew. I got it. Nice. Another vault boss. Defeated. Ah, want you look at that? That was actually fairly easy. That was not too bad. And we leveled up as well. Would you look at that? And the loot in this one was incredible. Hold on. I got me. Wait, where am I? <laughs> I'm in the vending machine. Wait, that's not me. Oh, I want to see my statue. Huh. Well then, we got uh, Antonio selling Wu to die and me selling vault bronze not gonna lie me that is a horrible price i i can do better than that we also got a olsen hopefully i'm saying that right selling alex Ale alexandrite gems we got five vault diamonds from that wait a minute does this do we have it hold on a minute here do we have enough to make a second knowledge star not quite, but extremely close. Well, it is definitely something that we are extremely close to be able to do again. In fact, I am just missing four Larima gems in order to get the core. I might try and fortune my way to getting it. Uh, this is gonna be, this is, there's a chance that you can get zero out of this. Like I said. Ooh, two, okay. And two, the three, nice. <laughs> we can actually make the core. We got enough vault diamonds from that run in order to make a star core. Oh, that's sweet. Now the final thing we're missing is literally seven star essence. Well, I choose the packs. Oh. Oh, Twitch emote five. Craft together with the four other pieces from the Twitch set to complete the Twitch relic. A relic increases your time in the vault permanently by 30 seconds, but only once. Excess relic statues can be smelted down to create bitter lemons. Huh, Mr. Bacchus. Nice. In fact, we got quite a few burger pieces. Not bad at all. Mystery eggs. Vault cookies. <laughs> ah, so close to two level ups in one go. Soul Flame combined with a Vault Crystal to add the Afterlife modifier, preventing loss of items if you die. Beware though, it also removes the chance of an artifact. Ooh, I feel like that is very valuable. Casually just got seven with the Skeleton Skulls, of course. And that is the loot. Well, almost anyway. Let's check it out. Ooh. Oh, we got another soul flame and star essence. That's what I was hoping for. <laughs> and... Boom. Our second knowledge star of the series. Boom. Vault dust, ghost apple. In general, pretty good. Excuse me. That's a much better helmet than mine. <laughs> Wow, well that was unexpected. Would you look at this? <laughs> Two level ups. We're now vault level 15. Really not a bad run at all. I'm really happy with that result. All right, here goes vault number two. I think I have everything this time. Oh, no modifiers. And immediately we have an obelisk and three obelisks only required. Ooh, well, this is interesting. Feels so peaceful after doing the other one. I have everything but healing potions. I just realized. I, I honestly, I need an actual checklist before heading down into the vaults. <laughs> uh. What? Discover very secret baked cakes or per. 
Huh? I am slightly confused. I am very much confused what is going on right now. But I mean, I guess I'll take it. Okay, going down here was a bit of a mistake, I think. Okay. Phew. Also, I just realized I do have healing potions. <laughs> Good. I'm not gonna lie, the loot in here has not been that great. Ow! I can actually explore the underwater areas now with these, uh, with this new helmet. Except for that, that's not cool. Aha! Second obelisk has been located. I would actually love to do the boss again in this vault if I can just find the obelisk. Aha! Obelisk located. Uh, well, I have figured out that if you defeat the boss, the more time you have when you defeat the boss, the more loot you're going to get, I believe. What is going on here? I'm just not sure. What? What is this? Nope, nope, definitely not doing it in this room. Nope. I lost so much health from that. Ooh, <gasps> city room. Ooh. Okay, do I, I, okay, this is a good spot, I feel, to fight the boss. Question is, do I fight or loot first? I think I have to loot first. What was that? I didn't even, okay. That jump scared me. <laughs> that definitely jump scared me. Oh dear. I do kind of hope that that gets fixed soon, because I'm not supposed to be getting these traps yet. <laughs> okay, I'm up from there. Just want to double check this blimp or whatever this is. And I hope I don't get blown up. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna do the boss fight again. <laughs> like this place. I really don't like this place anymore. It's a death trap. Okay, I'm gonna have to eat this gold metal because I'm out of healing. Not gonna lie, I'm also a tiny bit lost. Oh man, there's so many mobs. And they're starting to have armor and weapons as well. Okay, this time I'm going to use... Rampage? For some reason, Rampage never gets used. Can I not use Rampage inside the vaults? Anyways. Oh, Soul Blaze. Hello. Oh dear. I do not have a water bucket. I do not have a water bucket. But you are dead. First of all, great. Give me. <laughs> okay. That was worth it. And I'm happy because I think I'm a little bit lost. <laughs> But, not too bad. Ah, home sweet home. Okay, I got four traders in that, and I have appeared twice now. <laughs> I can buy vault cookies. That's actually not a bad trade. We also got Iskel over here selling candy bars for vault bronze, and another Iskel selling a cup backpack. Okay, that, that's a candy bar, but this one is a backpack. Iskel, that's not a bad deal, you know? And then we have Gek 2. Hopefully I'm probably butchering that, but mystery box. <laughs> okay. All right, I feel like I've gone through plenty of loot. Didn't really get anything that we haven't seen before. However, we gotta open the stuff, right? Nothing. We did, however, get seven vault cookies, which... <laughs> It's going to level us up, so now we have four unspent skill points. Can we get to 17? No. All right, let's check the boss crate loot. Ooh, a bow with power five, unbreaking three, and infinity. Oh. <laughs> I guess, you know what? I'll take it. it. It's a spare. I'm happy to get a spare. Vault silver, sciacids, power bar, netherite, five netherite. Magnetite, iron, gold, bomignite gem. Probably butchering that. And a dragon head. Very interesting stuff. And that was that. We have defeated four bosses in total. I'm actually really happy with that. In terms of skill points, I think I'm going to get haste. Yep. Now I don't know how much I need well fit at the moment. Nor do I feel like I need reach. I could upgrade something like make a jump or a dash or even get something like ghost walk. 
I'm gonna leave the two unspent skill points for now be and uh, I'm gonna listen to what you guys think I should use them for down below in the comments. I also have one unspent knowledge point, which I don't know if I want to save to get something like this or if I should get another furniture mod to further reduce the price of something like refined storage or something like that. I'm also going to leave that for you guys down below in the comments. So guys, we have done an amazing amount of work today. We have made this ginormous moth farm right here, which honestly is working much better than I thought it would. So I'll have to AFK here in between episodes for like an hour or so and see how much stuff we actually end up getting. We also upgraded the cactus farm and made these farms look very pretty and nice. And we finally have a bee farm, which I do still need to make them a little bit more pretty. This one and well, that monstrosity. It is working though, look at this. I'm so excited about that. But guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I really hope you have enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. And if you're new, do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to support my work even further, you can head on over to patreon.com slash binary vigilante. But that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day and goodbye.